slow cooker mashed potatoes. Now this is one of those things that's nice to have on hand uh, for Thanksgiving or for other days when you have a lot of dishes that you want to put on the table at the same time. You know, it's called mise en place, meaning everything comes on at the same time, which is quite a trick at Thanksgiving or when you're having big family dinners. So um, for Thanksgiving, you know, mashed potatoes are common fare at our house. And so there's a lot to do right at the last minute. So having a slow cooker or an instant pot or whatever can also help free up countertop space because it frees up the stove and the, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, potatoes actually come out great. My, my dad used to specialize in the mashed potatoes. That was always his part for Thanksgiving dinner. But when my daughter wanted to make these slow cooked potatoes, I was sort of, I think I'll just make another batch just in case. And she was a little nipped at me. But so, we, so I gave in, we did this and actually they're fabulous. So very easy. We have five pounds, like serious, that's a lot of potatoes. Five pounds of most any kind of potatoes. These are, um, where did I put them? They're uh, yellow, those uh, gold Yukon potatoes. But almost anything, and they're just already chopped up. So the smaller you chop them, the faster they cook. And, um, but these are gonna go in the oven, in the slow cooker for about four hours, three to four hours. You know, the great thing is they can stay in the slow cooker if the turkey's taking longer, other things are taking longer, you can keep them warm in here. So um, they're gonna look just like this, pretty simple, standard fare. And then we're just adding a little water. This is like a, almost one cup. And this recipe calls for garlic. Now that's a, see, a preference, but I'm putting it in today. And then just a little salt and pepper. And then we put this on a slow, on the, uh, the, the low temperature for three to four hours. And then when we come back, we're going to take milk and um, I'm gonna scald the milk or warm it just a little bit and with a little butter. And then we're just gonna stir that in with, we'll see how what the consistency is to see what we should use to whip it up so it tastes like mashed potatoes. So I'll see you back in the kitchen. All right, the um, mashed potatoes or the potatoes have been in the slow cooker for about four hours on, I start them on high and then put them into low. And I have to say they're pretty good just like they are. So take a look at it just like so. So, and now I could use the electric mixer for this old fashioned way of, um, it's, it's quieter when I don't have to use an electrical appliance. So I've heated up some milk and we're pouring that in there. We'll just see how much it takes. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect. I just, I think the seasonings are perfect. Mm. Just right. So we had a little salt, a little pepper, and a little garlic when we were putting <clears throat> put it on the on the uh, in the slow cooker. So here we go. Here's our mashed potatoes. Mm -mm -mm. Again, nice when you're having a crowd and there's a lot of things to do. So this recipe calls for um, five pounds of potatoes, but. I only use three, but I'm giving you the recipe because the time you would use it is when you're having a lot of people over. So here we are with, these are gold Yukon uh, mashed potatoes and they are looking great. Thanks for watching.